Hey everyone, Colin here from Something's Recording, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up parallel compression in PreSonus Studio One. Today we're gonna to be walking through setting up parallel compression in Studio One using both buses as well as the splitter plugin. And this is gonna help you increase the energy on whatever track you decide to use parallel compression on. But before we dive in here, if you're ready to go a little bit deeper into the mixing process, in its entirety and really start to hone your workflow as an audio engineer, then you need to go through my seven step mixing checklist. This is a free, simple PDF that you can download below using the link in the video description. And all it's gonna do is walk you through every single step of the mixing process to help you get professional and radio ready mixes without any more of the guesswork. Like I said, completely free for you to download and you can get access to that by clicking the link below in the video description. Now let's jump in here and take a look at parallel compression. We're gonna be doing it on the lead vocal in this track today. But let me start off here by playing you the vocal and you can hear it inside the track before we set up uh, parallel compression. One, two, three, one, two, look at me. Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? Seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. So the first way we're gonna walk through is using a bus channel, which is my preferred method of doing parallel compression on, on any channel uh, inside of Studio One. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bus channel here. We'll call it Vox Parallel, Parallel Vox, whatever you wanna call it, we'll call it Paravox. I'm gonna color it white because I always consider effects white and parallel compression is of course an effect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna send from our lead vocal into this bus. So from our vocal here, we're gonna open up our sends, click this little plus, send to our parallel vocal chain here, and I'm gonna send full level. It defaults to negative six, but if we just hover over here, hold command and click, it'll take us up to zero dB. So we're sending full level into this parallel vocal chain. So if we solo it up now. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? You can hear it's just a complete copy of our finished vocal chain here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull in a compressor here. And what we can do is pop, process this vocal more heavily than our original vocal. And it's gonna give us a more aggressive, more energetic style vocal that we can tuck underneath our original vocal. So all the processing we're doing here will not affect our original vocal. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? Seven, eight, nine, 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 nine five. Town, I can pretend. One, two, three, won't you look at me? One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? Seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. So you can see what we've done is we've pretty much pinned the needle down around 10 here on the vocal. And I'm going slowest attack, fastest release on this unit, which is Oh, what are we at? 0.8 milliseconds here. Oh, right here, yeah, 0.8 milliseconds, and then 50 milliseconds. I'm going four to one ratio, but you could also go all buttons in on an 1176 if you wanna get something more aggressive. I do like to go a step further with par parallel compression and throw a limiter on here as well. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? Seven, eight, nine, 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 five. One, two, three, won't you look at me? One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when will you miss? Seven, eight, nine, 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 five. 
Ten, I can pretend. Carry on. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Carry on. One, two, three, won't you look at me? So now we're doing compression with our 1176 and just a touch of limiting on the end to really even out our vocal here on our parallel compression chain. Now what we can do is pull this guy down and mix it in underneath our original vocal inside the track here. So we haven't touched our original vocal at all. It is staying exactly the same as it was. We're processing it on a parallel track, so in parallel, without affecting the original vocal here. So let's hit play and we're gonna ease this parallel chain up underneath. You can hear how it increases the overall energy and kind of aggression on our vocal. It helps push it further out front in our track so it's not getting buried by anything else that's going on. Now, I'm gonna turn this send off for a moment. We'll keep that there, but we're also gonna go another way with our parallel chain. So I'm gonna pull in another fat channel, this time directly on our vocal track. And the nice thing about Studio One is we have something called the splitter tool. So if we come up here to our routing, so if you open up any one of your plugins in the chain and you come up to the top left corner, you have this button called routing. And we can pull in our splitter plugin and I'm gonna put this right at the end of our chain here. So now we can create two chains on our vocal. One will be our normal finished vocal coming out of our, our, our mixing chain here, which is our EQ compressor and de-esser. And then the opposite one will continue down and we can compress it more and limit it. And then you can see we have two volume faders here to mix them together. We can also mute sides of it. So let's mute this guy here. You can see it'll, it'll put a little break in the chain. So we're not gonna hear this side. All we're gonna hear is the secondary side that we've created on the splitter plugin where we can do parallel compression. So let's take a listen here on our vocal. Same kind of thing. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me what we miss. Seven, eight, nine, 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 five. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me what we miss. Seven, eight, nine, 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 five. Ten, I can pretend. One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when we you miss? One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when we you miss? One, two, three, won't you look at me? Four, five, six, tell me when we you miss? Four, five, six, tell me when we you miss? Seven, eight, nine, 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 nine five. So we've got that same over compression going on, slowest attack, fastest release there to kind of emphasize that aggression on the front end of the vocal. And I'm also engaging the limiter here right at the end of the fat channel chain there, just doing a touch of limiting, same way as before here. Now, what we have is we have this secondary process chain off the splitter plugin, but we also have our original vocal chain, which is untouched here. So we can re-engage that and then pull the volume down of our secondary track, and we can mix that in the same way as before here. One, two, three, one, two.
the nice thing about this method here, doing it on your actual vocal check with the vocal track, excuse me, with the splitter plugin, is that then your parallel chain will also run out through your effects. So you have your single vocal that comes in, runs through a normal mixing chain, then splits off, one stays unprocessed, and one gets parallel processing to enhance the energy, enhance the aggression, whatever you're looking for there, and then they come back together and they can run through your reverb and your slap delay. So if you're adding energy with your parallel chain, you can also send that energy out to your, your reverb, your delay, whatever you like. If you wanna add another parallel chain, you could run both. So <laughs> that's our other option here. Once we've done one, let's see what it sounds like if we engage the other one here. Let's take a look and make sure we're doing the same thing. One, two, three, one, two, look at me. One, two, three, one, two, look at me. Okay, so now we've got both. Let's mix this other one back in, <laughs> see what it sounds like with both parallel chains. One, two, three, So whether you're trying to increase the energy on a track, you wanna add aggression to that track, or you just want it to sit more even up front in your mix, you've got two different ways you can do that with parallel processing inside of Studio One. I hope that was helpful for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're ready to take your mixes to the next level and really start dialing in your workflow as an audio engineer, then I have just the tool for you and it is completely free. It is my seven step mixing checklist, and you can download it below to start creating more professional mixes in less time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.